Okay, I am ready to talk about the third book in our summer book series, which is Persepolis by Marjan Satrapi. I've just found a pronunciation guide online uh, to teach me how to say that. I've got a lot of stuff to unpack about this book, so I'm just going to get right into it. Okay, first of all, I felt first of all, I, I really enjoyed the book. I enjoyed it more as I went along. I struggled a lot at the beginning because uh, she provides a little bit of a background, a historical background, which I felt like I had to read over and over and over again because I just was not getting it. And so that would be something to think about if you're going to teach this to your students that some of them may also struggle. Uh, I also felt like I just, I remember this period in history because I apparently am roughly the same age as the author. And so I can remember being in maybe fourth, fifth grade when the U.S. hostages were taken in Iran. And so it was so interesting to read the story of a another kid that was basically growing up at exactly the same time uh, on the other side of the world. Uh, but I really, like when I was little, I, I don't know enough about this time in history. And so I feel like if you're going to teach this to students who also have no historical reference at all, um, it would be really important to pair it with something else, whether it, if you're covering this in social studies or give them something that's going to provide background knowledge. I looked for stuff online and I got to say, I'm still kind of confused, but I feel like now that I've read this, I now have a new context to learn about it. So I'm pretty determined to learn more about the Iranian revolution. Um, so I'm just going to put that right there and move on to some other stuff. Um, I loved that this book had a strong female lead. I think it's a great book, um, for girls and, and, and guys to read, to, to see, um, her, her mother was also a strong female lead. Um, I found that the book had some really interesting, uh, raised interesting questions about parenting. You know, some of the stuff that, um, Marjan's parents let her do, uh, and also chose not to let her do, you know, they, they seem to struggle with how much to let her get involved in some of the protests and other things that would put her in danger. And I just thought that could make some really interesting discussion in class. Um, some interesting things just about the culture there, the things that surprised me, the fact that she wanted a Kim Wilde and Iron Maiden poster, uh, the fact that they talked at one point about making chili for dinner. Like I didn't know that these were things uh, available or uh, of, of interest to people in Iran. And it made me assume that there's probably lots and lots of other things too. And I didn't know how much of this was translated over. I think the book was originally written in French. So I don't know if there was anything that was sort of converted over so that, you know, English speaking people would get it or if this just was her. She, I've watched now, I'm sort of obsessed with Marjan Satrapi now that I've read this book um, because there's a ton of stuff on her on YouTube, interviews with her and speeches. And she's just, I don't know. I have a crush on her. She's just super like kind of doesn't give a crap and she's really into her work and she's really just like, I don't know. I can't explain it. And we're supposed to be talking about the book, but I'm going to probably link to some videos on her too. Cause I just think she's a just somebody to aspire to be like, um, okay, what else? This book is fantastic as a genre, as you know, the graphic novel. I mean, I read it really quickly, but it also just oh, so many emotions are conveyed just with a picture. And I've really not ever read a graphic novel, honestly, not cover to cover. And so that was really exciting to just be like paging through this and, and really enjoying the art and how simple it was. And yet it conveyed so much important stuff too. So um, I have, I did a blog post about a year ago where I kind of pulled together a lot of teachers who do teach graphic novels and they shared which ones they love. And so I'm going to link to that uh, in the post here too. And if you're watching this on YouTube, I'm going to link to the blog post under here so you can see, you know, these other graphic novels too. Um, one uh, word of warning, if you're going to be teaching this in school, there's a little bit of adult content, not a lot, but a little bit. There is some swearing and there's... Uh, section where there's a sort of a discussion of, of rape as a, an, a possibility and they use the F word. And so that's, I, I think teachers of any younger kids should read it first and be prepared for that. Um, and I just, in general, I think there's so much value in this book because it, it explores another culture. It explores a time period in history. Also, this is only part one of a two part book. They have a movie about it that came out a while ago. So, I mean, this is just the tip of the iceberg in terms of what this text can offer. 
Um, but in terms of just being able to understand another culture in sort of modern times too, this isn't like this sort of like making another culture, this ancient, you know, curious thing. This is, you're going to see a lot of parallels with, um, modern youth really. I mean, she talks about be wanting to become a punk and she tries her uh, first cigarette. And, um, so, I mean, it's an, it's a coming of age story and, it's a story about a, a really significant time period in the Middle East and just such a unique book. So um, if you're watching this on YouTube, come on over to Cult of Pedagogy because we're going to be inviting people to give their thoughts. There's probably going to be a lot of teachers that have taught this already. I got a comment on Instagram the other day from somebody who said this is part of their Girls at War uh, unit, which the fact that that's a unit being taught in a school is uh, fantastic. So... Uh, that is everything that I have for now. And now I want to hear your comments. So let's have them.